In our previous video, we discussed about vapor pressure. We learned about the concept behind the vapor pressure and what is the relationship between the vapor pressure and the kinetic energy of a pure substance or its temperature. So on this video, we're going to talk about the Antoine equation. Well, this equation is very important, not just in chemistry, but also in other subjects like thermodynamics, chemical engineering calculations, and various separation processes. Because usually, if you want to find the vapor pressure of a substance, we use the Antoine equation because it helps us identify the vapor pressure of a pure substance at a given temperature. But before we proceed with that, let us have a quick review sa mga natutunan natin about vapor pressure. So again, going back to this illustration here, we have a liquid at the bottom of our closed system container. And natutunan natin that in this portion where we have our liquid phase, our particles contains kinetic energy. However, it is not strong enough for them to permanently move away from other particles. So in our closed system right here, ang ginawa nating example last time, let's say if our temperature is 0 Kelvin or negative 273 degrees Celsius, this is when particles are not moving. So it will just settle dito sa bottom ng ating container. And on that case, we'll not be expecting any gas particles dito sa ating container here. No? So there will be no pressure on this area. However, if we increase, let's say, our kinetic energy or our temperature to about, let's say, 30 degrees Celsius, for example. So, our temperature here is 30 degrees Celsius. Then, we might see some particles starting to escape itong ating liquid surface. So, let's say here we have particles escaping from our liquid. No? So, it, this is what we learned previously in our discussion. Okay, so let us just have a quick review about that. Now, if we review our lecture in chemistry about the kinetic molecular theory, we learn that gas particles travel in straight line until it collides with another particle or to the walls of its container, like this one, okay? And this collision in the wall of the container defines the pressure of the gas. Okay, so kung halimbawa, at the beginning, we only have a few particles bouncing dito sa ating wall ng container. So let me correct this one or let me change this one for a while para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang illustration. No? So at the beginning, let's say only one particle is bouncing here sa ating wall. So it will not be strong enough para magkaroon tayo ng indication ng pressure ng ating gas. But imagine how many particles we have dito sa ating liquid. And once we increase our temperature, the kinetic energy of our particle will also increase. Then there will be lots, millions or billions of particles that will be hitting the wall of our container and that will define the pressure ng ating gas. And that pressure is what we call the vapor pressure. And in solving problems in chemistry, thermodynamics, chemical engineering calculations, and separation processes, we will often need to determine the vapor pressure dito sa ating system. And to do that, one of the methods that is frequently used is the Antoine equation. And in Antoine equation, we can get the vapor pressure by using this equation. So, the log of the vapor pressure in base 10 is equal to A minus B over C plus T. Okay. This one is what we call the Antoine equation, where our vapor pressure here, the VP, is often expressed in millimeter mercury, okay, a unit of pressure. And our temperature is in degree Celsius. Now, you might be wondering kung ano itong A, B, and C. Well, this is actually an empirical formula in which they are able to determine 
the value of A, B, and C by conducting experiments. And they will look for the values of A, B, and C that will fit this relationship. So basically, the Antoine equation is a class of semi-empirical correlation describing the relationship between the vapor pressure and the temperature of pure substances. Okay, so don't worry kung ano ba tong value ng ating A, B, and C because you can find this in different reference materials. So on this video, I'm going to show you where to find it in Paris Chemical Engineers Handbook 8 edition. So in table 13-4, you will see the Antoine vapor pressure constants and liquid molar volume. So you can find the species here on the left side. And then you will see the value of A, B, and C. But we have to take note kung saan lang applicable itong mga values na to. You can see here the applicable temperature region. So you can only use these values of A, B, and C if it falls within this temperature. So for example, for acetic acid, you can use these values of A, B, and C if its temperature is between 18 to 118 degrees Celsius. So, beyond 118, you cannot use these constants anymore. Okay, so in order to really understand how to use this, let us solve this problem here. So, answer the following questions using the Antoine equation. Number one, what is the vapor pressure of ethanol when the temperature is at 45 degrees Celsius? Number two, at one temperature at degree Celsius, does ethanol have a vapor pressure of 66 millimeter mercury? So, let us start by writing yung ating Antoine equation so we will not get confused. So, as we said earlier, Antoine equation is the log base of 10 of our vapor pressure which is equal to A minus B over C plus temperature. Remember that our vapor pressure here is in millimeter mercury and our T is in degree Celsius. So let us start by solving problem number one. So solution for problem number one. We have a given temperature. So our temperature here is equal to 45 degree Celsius and our substance is ethanol. Okay. Now, we have to use the Antoine equation. We know the temperature, but we do not know our ABC constant. And we are looking for the vapor pressure. So, kailangan lang natin makuha isa na ba tong A, B, and C. So, remember, our temperature is at 45 degrees Celsius, and our substance is ethanol. Okay? So, let us have a look again dito sa ating table. Uh, we can see here ethanol, but we have two ethanol here. Diba? So, we have ethanol right here and we have ethanol right here. So, dalawa yung ethanol natin. But as I said earlier, we have to check our applicable temperature. So, our temperature according to this question is at 45 degrees Celsius. So, hanapin natin dito sa dalawang ethanol natin kung nasaan yung 45 degrees Celsius. So, as you can see right here, this is from 78 to 203. So, it's really high. So, nandun lang tayo sa 45 degrees Celsius. So, we will not be using this one. But instead, we will be working with this. So, yung pangalawang ethanol. So, these are the constants that we will be using. Okay, so let us write that down dito sa ating given para hindi na tayo magpabalik-balik. So, our A, our B, and our C, of course, no? So, let us write that down. Our A is... 8.11220 our b is 1592.864 and our c is at 226.184 now so let me write that here our a is 8.11220 um, our b is 1592.864 and our c is at 226.184 okay so now we can substitute that dito sa ating Antoine equation. No? So, we have log base of 10 of our vapor pressure is equal to A. Our A, okay, so as per our 
equation here, we need to substitute the value of A. So we have A which is 8.11220 minus then our B. So we have our B here which is 1592, 1592.864 over C plus T. Okay, so our C is 226.184 plus our temperature which is at 45 degree Celsius. Alright, so para mas maging madali for our followers, we're going to solve this first, no? Para makita natin yung step by step how we are achieving our answer. So, 8.11220 minus, we're going to solve this first. So, let us use our calculator. So, we have... 1,592.864 divided by 226, okay, 226.184 um, plus 45. So we have 5.874. No? So we have 5.874 here. Okay, so we have log base of 10 of our vapor pressure is equal to 8.11220 minus 5.874. No? So let us use again our calculator. So let us have 8.11220 minus our previous answer, which is 2.2385. So 2.2385. Okay, so now we need to remove this log base of 10. So that means we will be raising both sides of the equation. So we have 10 to the log base of 10 of our vapor pressure is equal to 10 to the 2.2385. Okay, so in that case, ang may iwan dito sa ating left side ng equation will be our vapor pressure. And this will be equal to 10 to the 2.2385. So, our vapor pressure will be equal to, so again, using our calculator, we have our 10 um, raised to, to our previous answer, right? So, this will be equal to 173.165. Okay, so 173.165 and our unit will be in millimeter Mercury. So, this will be our answer for the first problem. Okay. The next problem is uh, the reverse. Okay. Given our vapor pressure, we need to find the temperature. No? So, at this vapor pressure, what will be our temperature? So, our vapor pressure is at 66 millimeter mercury. Okay. So, we'll write here the solution for problem number two. Okay, solution for problem number two. Okay, so again, let us write our Antoine equation. We have log base of 10 of our vapor pressure will be equal to A uh, minus B over C plus D. Okay, so given our vapor pressure, we have log base of 10 of 66 millimeter mercury will be equal to so, we have the same substance here, which is ethanol. So, we will still be using these values. Okay, so our A is 8.11220 minus our B, which is 1592.864. Our C is 226.184 plus C. Oh, I mean plus T, no? So, that will be our requirement, our T here. Okay, so yun yung hinahanap natin. Alright, so again, step by step para maging malinaw sa ating mga followers, no? Para hindi tayo biglang tumatalon into a solution. So first, we have to get the log base of 10 ng 66, okay? So log of 66 is equal to 1.8195, no? So 1.8195 is equal to 8.11220 minus 1,592.864 over 226.184 plus T. Okay? 
So now, we are going to transpose this to the left side, okay, so of our equation. So we're going to transpose this to the left side and this to the right side of the equation. Because we need to isolate itong ating temperature right here, no? So para maging parehong positive siya, ganyan na gagawin natin pagta-transpose, no? So let us now write that here. So we have our 1000... 592.864 over 226.184 plus T is equal to 8.11220 minus 1.8195. Okay? So, in here, we will have 1,592.864, which is equal to, so let us solve this first. We have um, 8. 8.11220 minus our previous answer, which is 6.29265, no? So, 293, let's say. So, 6.293. So, 6.293. Then, we are going to transpose this denominator to the right side. So, we're going to have 226.184 plus... Okay, so distributive property tayo. We have 1,592.864 is equal to 6293 times um, 226.184, which is equal to 1423.298. So we have 1,423.298 plus um, 6.293t. So, again, transpose natin to sa left side ng ating equation. Ano? So, now we will have, let me directly subtract that para maging mas madali. So, we have um, 1,592.864 minus our previous answer. We have 169.566, tama ba? Right? And this is equal to 6.293t. Okay? So, that means our t is equal to 169.566 over 6.293. So, our temperature here will be equal to... Um, divided by 6.293. So, we have 26.945. And this will be in degree Celsius. So, this will be our final answer for this problem. Okay. So, this is how we use the Antoine equation. So, kailangan lang, we know where to find yung values ng ating ABC. So, again, using the Ferris Chemical Engineers Handbook, 8th edition, it will be in table 13-4. So, I hope that this lecture video has been helpful sa pag-aaral mo at sa pagre-review. So, thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.